you you've told us that you love being in cyber security and obviously it's it's panned out into you founding your own business talk to me about you know why you chose to found it you know what the business does and why someone should should be reaching out to you because it's such a cool idea Sure. So uh, as I kind of mentioned, uh, you know, the podcast earlier, uh, you know, I've worked at a lot of different tech companies. The previous company I worked at for doing this was at a bank. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of security at the bank, which which just makes everything more difficult to do. So every time somebody, um, a customer wanted to send us personal information or a file, you know, we had to go through all these different tools and, and systems to make sure that it was done in a secure and encrypted way. And it's just a huge headache. There's so much friction involved uh, in, in, in doing anything um, in a secure way. And because there's so much friction, it caused, people just tend to ignore it or sidestep it or, or go around it. Uh, and so that's where kind of, you know, my interest in decentralized tech and then also the pain points I had working at the bank, it kind of started overlapping. I started saying, okay, if we started decentralizing our architecture, um, you know, it, I was seeing that, you know, th th these processes of sending information back and forth in a secure way became a lot easier. Uh, and, and so that's what kind of started me on the path of, of, uh, of, of building Telios, which is a, an encrypted uh, email service that's decentralized. Um, and so you've probably heard of like ProtonMail. ProtonMail is probably the most popular encrypted email service out there, uh, but it's like a traditional web 2.0 technology. And so ProtonMail, they encrypt the message body of your emails, uh, and then they just store them on a traditional email server uh, in, in Switzerland somewhere. And so what I didn't like about that and, and, and every email server is that they, they're holding my data. Um, and you know I think the future of the internet and I think the future of cybersecurity is decentralizing this architecture so that um, you know, I'm the one that's holding my data and the encryption keys. I'm not having to rely on a third-party service that has some kind of black box security. You know, I don't even know what it is until it gets broken into it. Then, like, some audit comes out about it, right? <laughs> uh, and so, yeah, so that I, I, I just invested heavily in, into that being the future. 